We cherish the opportunity uh, every June to love the horse month right here on Racing.com. It gives us an opportunity to showcase some of the unsung heroes that are doing amazing work with equine welfare. And Lisa Coffey, with her racing hearts, is one of those. Not only is she looking after horses, but she's actually influencing the lives of our uh, youngsters coming through. And you can see the healing powers of the wonderful horse. Yeah, so Sid's been in movies. He has taught people how to ride. Yeah, he's a bit special, Sid. He's a really cool horse. So now he's visit visiting schools and meeting kids like you guys so that we can learn about our emotions and learn about how to deal with how we're feeling and our thoughts and challenges that we have in our lives. My favourite thing about horses is probably patting them and being around them. They make me really calm and they're very soft. When they like have their cute little foals in the springtime. My favourite thing about horses is they're so calm and they can be really soft. My favourite thing about horses is listening to them eat. They are therapy horses and they're soft and that they're like very nice horses after racing. We're here at Bittern Primary School today with our school incursion programme. Our programme is really, really unique in that we bring our retired racehorses to the schools. We conduct a wellbeing session with the children and working in with some equine assisted therapy. And it also gives us the opportunity to teach the children about life after racing for racehorses when they retire. It's really beneficial for the children to be out in nature, to be able to touch into what helps them feel relaxed and what helps make them happy, uh, what helps them feel calm how to regulate their emotions and be aware of how they're feeling and their thought processes and how to exhibit more healthy behaviour to deal with challenges in their lives. We introduced the horses to the kids at the end of last year and so the kids have worked with the horses all term and it's just been amazing, they've loved it. You can see the kids' shoulders relax when they start to pat the horses and just they feel really happy when they know that they're having an impact on the horses as well, so it's been great. Oh my God, the kids absolutely love being with the horses. For them to be able to experience horses coming to their school is a really unique opportunity for them to spend some time with animals in a safe environment. And I'm really hoping that we'll be able to get into some of those city schools where some of those kids will never have had the opportunity to be around horses, let alone touch them and do leading exercises or groom them or just be with them in a really safe way. So I'm pretty excited about expanding the programme. Horses make me feel calm and relaxed. They like your friend and like the gentle giants. Horses put a big smile on my face. And that simply says it all. Uh, how good did Hissing Sid look? Maybe you used to be trained by Simon Wilde, maybe a future for Britannicus when your big boy finishes. I would love a horse that I've raced yeah. on the track to be able to go on and do something like that and be a part of a program like Racing Hearts because there are a lot of people who grow up in the industry and have had the benefit of being around horses from a young age through family or friends and it just becomes you know, second nature. Whereas for a lot of part, yeah. a big, big part of society, a horse is something that's... Uh, not a barrier, but there is. There's oh, not there's exactly a, there, you know. And there's a bit of fear too, because exactly. it's interesting. One of the one of the young kids there talking about their gentle giants, because they when you huge. see them, they are yeah. huge athletes. So you can uh, imagine kids get a little scared, but that's what Lisa Coffey does so well. She makes sure that uh, she takes those brilliant athletes, the horses, out to the kids, and the kids love it. So well done, Lisa.